evening of watching me, Jess, the spectral streamer, the other half of Spinsters of Horror and I Spit on Your Podcast, streaming horror video games. I every, Once a week on Wednesday from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. EST, I stream various new um, indie old horror video games, whatever I can find on the PC that I'm, I want to play, and I stream it here on my Twitch channel. Um, this Twitch stream is sponsored by Morbidly Beautiful, our podcast uh, network where uh, we host I Spit on Your Podcast. It, Morbidly Beautiful is a horror website, also a network of amazing, wonderful people within the horror, mo- horror community who do podcasts, write movie reviews, do interviews, um, just game reviews, all kinds of the gambit. And uh, yeah, so this is where I come and I stream some horror video games. Uh, The last uh, three weeks it's been, I've been streaming Alien Isolation, which has um, been a very terrifying experience, not going to lie. Okay, well, I'm just going to resume the game. I'm currently hiding in a locker right now. Uh, I was like, oh, I should start the game early just to like remind myself how to do things. And then I forgot that I'm like in the midst of the alien carnage right now. And uh, yeah, so welcome back, uh, Cannibal Cheek and Palinex, uh, Cannibal Cheek, Kelly, and Palinex, David, uh, to essentially just watch me run around and get terrified and be killed by an alien multiple times. Huh. Uh, let's, uh, let's figure things out again. Tab. So I thought I had done this, but I guess I didn't save the last time. But I have to investigate those rooms and get something from the guy's lab. I remember how to use the map now, so... All right. For a second, I'm like, what is that sound? Why can I hear walking? It's the alien in the headphones. For a second, I'm like, no, it's the apartment upstairs. Mm, I wish. I really wish. Okay. uh, Nope. I remember I can't use that thing too often because it alerts. It causes a sound. Oh, God. Ah, anyway, let's begin. Please be quiet. Uh. Oh shit. It literally just walked by the room. Oh shit, 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 shit! Uh. Oh god. Oh god, the alien's in the room. Um, If you are tuning in, Kelly in the chat has a drinking game that has been going with this game. Uh, rules for how many times I scream, how many times I scream no. Uh, a new rule that got added to the stream was uh, drink every time I hide in a locker, which happens a lot. The motherfucking xenomorph is right in the corner there. Like, it's right there. It knows I'm in the locker. It knows I'm in the locker. <laughs> it won't come. It won't go away. Oh, God. I think I'm going to die within the first five minutes of this game. Motherfucker! Uh, ah, it's right there! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh god. I'm really fucking scared. Fucking. Ugh. Is Xenomorph knows I'm in here? My map, okay. I need to get over here. So somehow I have to run really fast to get down these hallways, like out this door and down that hallway. Uh. 
I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Open the door, 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 open the door. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I'm so scared. I know you said no running, but it was the only way I was going to get out of that area. Like, the only way. Hide in here, hide in here, hide here. <sighs> I definitely do not do stealth. I am I am a tank player all the way. Just before we were I jumped onto the stream, I was playing Castle Crashers with Cash Castle Crashers with my partner. And you can tell who's like a tank player and who typically like to play DPS. Like I'm just in there like beating the shit out of all these little monsters and dying really quickly and my partner's like bumping around, jumping all over the place, killing things and <laughs> and he's living and I'm the one who keeps dying. Anyway, let's uh I'm pretty sure I needed to go to room A twenty nine was where I found the stuff in. Like I found the dead body. Grab the map. I know Kelly's yelling, grab the map. Ugh. My upstairs people in the apartment upstairs keep making noise and it keeps scaring the shit out of me. Like I keep thinking it's the alien walking around. But it's not. It's just my neighbor upstairs being really noisy. Oh shit. Do you hear it? Here's the thing, I probably shouldn't be walking around here so ballsy, but at the same time too though, I feel like it's the only way I'm gonna get moving through this game. <laughs> like I just need to be ballsy and just push through it. Okay, yeah, okay. This guy, take everything, I don't care. I, I need to find a, a save point. Oh yeah, uh, I have to get all the way back up to that guy. How do I do that? That means I have to go through where the alien is. Okay, I need to find a save point though. Uh, yeah, sorry guys, you're gonna be, if anyone's following the drinking games, you're probably gonna be pretty hammered within the first hour because I'm gonna hide in every freaking locker. <laughs> sorry. Uh, the personnel save point is far away from me. Oh. No. Uh, could I go out? No, that's locked. Damn it. Uh, I guess it doesn't tell me where the vents take me, even though I don't really want to go into any kind of vents because um, that's where an alien could live. Oh, that's me. I open the door. I'm like, okay. I'm like, the door, the door open. <gasps> oh my god, 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 oh my god. Ah! Ah, it's out there. It saw me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hello, true Canadian. Welcome to the stream. The I am currently playing Alien Isolation and I have to make it back to this doctor which is far away, and I haven't even made it out of the room that I'm still in. Uh, it's a freaking alien. Okay, I need to go out and down. 
and over and up. Okay, so remember last time I played, I got pretty, I got to this point when the alien got me last time. So, let's do this. Okay. <gasps> it's in the room! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. <sighs> so, funny thing. I've been playing this game for the last four weeks for the stream, and in the last last week and the week before, I started having dreams about xenomorphs, and they've been really scary. Uh, scary dreams. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, my God! <laughs> it's right there again. Uh, hello, Cardi Party. Uh, the rules are like: take one drink when just jumps or scream. Take two drinks for big screams or big jumps. Take a drink whenever I hide in a locker. Take a sip whenever it says just knows it says no at the screen. So, oh, I'm not gonna get very far. I need to like. Kelly keeps telling me not to run, but, like, I need to run. <laughs> I have to come out of the room and go, um, left. No, right. I need to go right. Yep. Go right and then turn again. So right across from A28, I need to go down that way. So. Let's try this. Okay, I need to go right. I need to go this way. Quiet, you. Kelly in the chat making fun of me. I don't know where I am, but I'm going to go hide right now. Uh, get in, get in the locker, stupid. Okay, um, so my strategy is get very far and hide in the locker for a bit. I don't know where I am. That's not where I wanted to be. Oh wait, no, yeah, okay. So I need to come out of this room and just continue going straight ahead. I can do this. I can do this. Okay. Come out and go out straight. So I had to go out and go right. Yeah, uh, Cardi, with this game, like I've turned everything as low as possible on this game, and it just has a lag to it. Xenomorph is in the room with me. Fuck. <sighs> yep. I can hear it. It's like I can hear it at the corner of my... Ah, it's right there! Oh my god, it's so fucking close. So I think it went left or right. I need to go this way. I just need to get to the save point. I just need to save. I need to save. I need to save. Okay. Whew. Okay. So knowing that I saved means that I won't have to do all that again, which is good. Which makes me feel very much better about this. Um, where is my guy, Dr. I need to... I think I have to go into a vent. Is there a vent over here? There is, okay. Uh, going into the vent. <sighs> Fucking vent. Okay. 
Okay, good. Okay, good. I don't think I have to crouch anymore. Damn you, Coleman! You knew that thing was here! Now that's not fair. I thought it might be there. There's a difference. Now the power I thought it might be there. No there is no okay. difference. Now let's get down to the dispensary. Of course, of course. A promise is a promise. I'm sorry for putting you through this. I'm going to step into the other room to punch the code in and prime the elevator. Then we can use the key card to take the elevator down. <laughs> Something terrible is going to happen to you, Colmer. A, because you fucking knew the xenomorph was out there and you thought that he might be, but there's a, not a difference. Fucking asshole. Was I supposed to leave that room? Oh, there you are, dude. There. I'll collect my things and we can leave. No, no, no. We just go now. You don't need to collect stuff. Wow, well, he's taking a leisurely walk with all this. You're gonna die. <gasps> yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Oh God. oh God. Where's the elevator? Is this the elevator? Where's the elevator? <laughs> uh. I'm in a vent. I don't think I should be in a vent. Uh. Oh, I gotta go back out the other way? Oh, I ran. I ran. The wrong direction. Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, I just made this challenging for myself. Unless the xenomorph is still trapped in that. Hello, Relent Katie? Relent Katie? Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. <sighs> the alien is terrifying. The xenomorph. I swear I think he I can hear it. Uh that's great. Go? Move? Do something? Elevator? Okay. <laughs> For a second, I'm sitting there like, uh, how do you feel? Um, not great. That was the achievement I just unlocked. It's like, mm, I don't feel really great right now. I feel pretty scared. Find the trauma kit. Okay. Uh, save game. I think it's above me. Oh my god, I don't like that sound at all. Mm. <laughs> I just... I know, I'm pretty impressed. Like I said, I always thought Kelly had actually finished this game, but the fact that I have gotten further than she has in this game, which also makes me more terrified because she doesn't know, she can't tell me what to expect now. I'm like literally walking into this not knowing what to do. Like Xenomorph could come out of there. <laughs> There's an opening in the ceiling. What the fuck? Fuck that. Fuck that. Mm. Let's go in the Nope. I gotta restore power. To what and where? I get a stun baton. So, yay. But also, that doesn't mean anything good for me, right? Well, to be fair, Katie, I've last week when I played this game, I died about six times in like a half an hour. 
just because I was so scared of the xenomorph. Here, like stun baton for warbots, but not for. <sighs> it's just like, how do I select it though? This which is really annoying. Uh... Oh, there it is. So how's everyone doing this week so far? Urgent missions, I need to talk to you. I've got a body here that's part of chest wound. All right, so we got a body. And Siren Crystal's lockdown has been noted. Evacuation, prior to Oh, I think I'm in a morgue? Oh, and congratulations on a day off tomorrow. Mm, iced coffee. <laughs> yeah, it's always like the one thing is like when you think of, I think of now being like, mm, I'm actually looking forward to going to bed because tomorrow morning I get to have a nice cup of coffee. And I never thought I would say that because I used to never drink coffee. But now I do definitely look forward to my morning coffee. <gasps> Ooh! So that means we're gonna have fancy hair for your panel on your panels on uh, on Saturday. So for anyone tuning in this Saturday, uh, Kelly and I, Kelly is doing her first uh, Taboo Terrors, uh, Visceral Pleasures and Extreme Cinema panels on Saturday, where we're gonna have a bunch of people, uh, women from all across the horror community, um, talking about their love of extreme horror, their involvement in extreme horror, and just, it's going to be, you know, and I'm going to be there helping hosting as well as doing um, technical behind the scene duties, but that is happening on Saturday. Yeah, I think I've been drinking coffee now for two years myself, so still very young in the game. All right. Good and look all dressed up. Mm. Taylor's injured. Search through Song Christabel for a trauma kit and return to the transit station with it. Okay, so still looking for a trauma kit. Yeah, and then tomorrow Kelly and I are guesting on the. I always say this wrong. It's mum mummers from the or no murmurs murmurs from the morgue. oh no 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 where did it come from i have nothing to hide where can i hide where can i hide uh oh yeah no 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 it sees me oh god oh god it's right there it's fucking huge So does it just follow me everywhere now? Ah. Oh. It did, it did hear me. Uh, fuck. It's my first death. All right.
Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Shut the door! I hate that I walk by it, it opens the door. <laughs> Fuck. gonna hide in here for a little bit so yeah so coffee and iced coffee and uh, murmurs uh, rum murmurs from the morgue Kelly and I are gonna be talking about our top five favorite cruel summer movies <sighs> um, yeah it's uh, gonna be a fun time we're gonna talking with Kelly and Brianna over there on their podcast if you guys have checked it if you haven't checked out um, murmurs from the Murmurs from the Morgue, I highly recommend you do check it out because I've been listening to it and I really enjoy um, both the cadence that they have in their episodes but also the um, dialogue and also because of their um, they've been writing in the horror community for so many years and they work for iHorror they have a lot of like inside kind of information and kind of scoops uh, about different directors and movies that are really fun to hear their, uh, tad bit, their, um, their tidbits okay I can hear the alien walking around. I'm just waiting for my moment. I need to find the trauma kit. But I need to get out of this room. If an alien comes, can I hide in a body bag? I don't know what that means, but I'm making noise. Apparently I've got 15 out of 30 achievements right now, so I'm pretty happy about that. Ooh. I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. I'm supposed to find the trauma kit. Somewhere in this area. Oh, maybe in the other room, okay. Oh shit, I have to keep remembering to check up, to look up too. I don't see any trauma kits. I just see lots of dead bodies. That's not good for me. What is that? Item. Apparently there's an item here. Oh, 
Oh, this is the rewiring the axis. I don't really understand how to do this properly. Oh, uh, vent axis. Yes, make that happen. No, I broke something. What is happening? Give me vent access. <sighs> Move keys. Samuels, there's a Dr. Lingard, senior medical officer. Should be able to find out where they're keeping everything in her office. Good luck, Ripley. Hurry if you can. Oh, okay. Um. Finally work those properly. I was not using the rewriting axes as properly, I guess. <laughs> it's out there, it's out there, it's out there, it's out there. Oh god, oh god. Crouch, crouch. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, I just want to leave this room. Anyway, we're um, almost at the end of July, halfway through our summer. How is everyone feeling about their summer? Oh, the alien's in the next room. There it is. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh, how is everyone feeling about their summer so far and how it went through? Oh, yes, it does open doors. It opens doors. It pulls you out from under tables. It can get you if you're in a locker, if it hears you. It's in the next room, if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but it's in that room. <laughs> I just want to leave this room. Especially because there's no hot lockers for me to hide in. Save what I've done so far. Yeah, the xenomorph is truly everywhere. I uh, I need to get to that. Um, <sighs> God damn. That crouch. I hate crouching because I can't run. But then I can't run because the xenomorph will hear me. I thought I did restore the power. Uh. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Maybe I'll just go back in the elevator? Okay, we'll just go back in the elevator. We're good. <laughs> oh. oh god. The thing is, like I said, I keep forgetting to look up as well, so I feel like the one thing is like that's really just going to get me in this game if I'm going to be walking along and the alien grabs me from up top or something. Get to saw and Christabel facility. Is that where I am? That's true. I know as like adults we don't really have a summer. We we work and then we take vacation. We take weeks off here or there, or a couple days off here or there. But we don't really get to truly enjoy a true summer a true summer. 
Unlike Cardi in the chat, he's off work until he starts his new job in September. So he is enjoying his summer. Um, do I want to be here? Mm, I don't think so. Nope, that's, that's going the wrong way. Why do I keep going the wrong way? I think I'm going the wrong way. I don't want to go back in those areas. So I'm going in the right way? I don't know. That's weird. Do I go up and go down again? Oh, goodness. So if anyone who's uh, watching or joining in hasn't seen or played Alien Isolation before, this game takes place in between the first and second movie. So this is supposed to be you're playing Amanda Ripley and you're Ripley's daughter and you're going into space to look for her. No, this is wrong. Okay. So I still need to investigate her office, but I somehow need to figure out how to get there. <laughs> For a second there, I thought that was the alien sitting in the corner just chilling. Oh, this is environmental control. I don't think it does anything else. I have to somehow restore power to... Oh uh, god, for a second I thought that was the alien. No, that's just a noise. That's just the door is shutting behind me. Don't go under the big open square. That's my goal. Missing something. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else in here. Unless I didn't do this right. Oh. <sighs> I hate that I hear, I can hear something above me. <sighs> How am I supposed to? Switch room, move keys. I think it has to do with this. I have to somehow get this rewire to open the vent there. Ah! What? What was that? What was that?
but this is what I want. I need you to give me power to that room. Ah. I'm fucking scaring myself right now because I'm just like, why isn't this working? And I know there's something out there. Um. Still shows it's locked. Ah! <laughs> I scared myself. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna solve my problems, Jessica. That's just gonna make things worse. Mm. Ah! Oh god. Oh god. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Too much attention trying to re-rise the thing and I couldn't do it. Uh <laughs> yes, don't smash the the the, the electrical unit <laughs> if you're gonna get the alien on your ass. Oh my god, okay. Investigate Langard's office for information. Oh, it's like I feel like you have to take like, a big gulp whenever just Jessica scares herself. <laughs> whenever the game scares me, but whenever Jessica scares herself, I take a drink. It's like a big gulp. Okay, um, that's where I need to get, right? But my, Yeah, I think I need to reroute power from that little rewire thing to the vent the rest to re restore power, but I don't know why it's not working. So I think I'm like doing what I'm supposed to do. Convenient. I didn't know that was there before. That is the switch room. We need to get to his office. But unless I need to make something. I don't know. Do we make it for the med kit? Uh, no pipe bomb, no flare, revolver, no device maker.
Somehow we got it to work. Still terrifying though, we're, we're in the vent. Put my mic down? Is it not close to my mouth? Oh god. That's... Don't like that. Just gonna hide in here for a bit just to get my bearings. Um, where am I? Close to that person's office. Ah, that's a neat little how they're able to add those extra characters, um, characteristics to the game, like showing these neat pictures of family vacation on Earth, and then sadly knowing that all these people died in a terrible way being eviscerated by some xenomorph. Okay. I feel like one of the most important advice, one of the biggest tips that I would give to anyone playing this game is not go out there. Um, is always know where the lockers are. <laughs> and make sure to hide them and use them at all points possible. Oh god, there was something scary out there. I don't know if you guys heard it or you're probably just catching up to it now, but just as I was going to walk into the very dark corridor, something hissed. And I was just like, no, I'm just going to go back in here. Uh, okay. Oh, good goodness. <laughs> I'm going to crouch. Okay, that's a body. It's a human body. It's not a xenomorph. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> it's just a human morph. It's just a human dead body. It's not a xenomorph. Thank God. That's so scary. Um, locker there for hiding. This better have something in here that I need and not be a waste of my time. Uh, no, I'm going too far away from where I need to be. Where I need to go. Oh god! It's in here! Oh my god. Oh shit. Something I just realized. So in this game, there's eventually face huggers. I will not be crouching when there's face huggers. Whose office is this? Grab the map. Making sure I'm grabbing all the maps just for Kelly. Dispensary is empty. Mission f message from Lingard on a return. I prepped the patient's trauma ward. Is with you elsewhere on state or elsewhere on station. I'm hoping. Death certificates. Cool. Oh. This is Lingard, senior medical officer at Sevastopol Station. I want to. I want to stay. I have been. I 
I have been placed under duress with regards to compromise patient zero. And Ransom, Seekson's head of operations, he... He made certain threats for my career and my certification. I want that on record. Wow. That's... God. That woman needed help. I didn't know what type of parasite she had encountered, but it had planted something Oh no. Is this Ripley? Her. She could be talking about Ripley. I am so sorry. I had no way of knowing what would happen. Okay. Search operating theater for trauma. Okay. okay. Oh, back. Couch. Oh Jesus. All right. Now we have to go search a whole other wing. Oh. Finally, build a med kit. I can hear the xenomorph out there. Awesome, awesome. Oh, yeah. It's in the vents. You can see it. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. Oh, God. Um, yeah, no, get out of this room. What the fuck happened? Oh god! No! Hiding is only ever a temporary solution. Hmm, thanks. Thanks for reminding me of that. Okay. Damn it! Huh. I really should have saved how I did that. Okay. Uh. Can I save what I did right now? Oh, I don't think I can yet. No, nope, I'm still up. Please wait. Fuck. Uh. Okay. Uh, I haven't watched any trailers for this new haunted house underwater, uh, just because... Why? Why do we have a haunted house underwater? We don't need to go underwater, ever. It, no. Because uh, I, I, yeah, I haven't seen the trailer because I'll probably never watch it, because it would just be too terrifying. Or I will just be really cruel to myself one day and force <coughs> myself to watch it. Oh, goodness. How about you, Kelly? Have you watched the trailer for this haunted house underwater? Oh god. Oh shit. It's right there. I'm just gonna go hide in the locker 
for a little bit, let it go by. Oh, the trailer dropped today. Oh, no, well then I definitely haven't seen it. I was very busy today. I finished episode 36 of the I Spit On Your podcast. Finished editing that today, so you get that release for Friday. Uh, super excited for you guys to hear this episode. It's Kelly and I had our did our very first crossover crossover episode with Gracie from Good Morning Nancy, which is a podcast that we both really adore. And it's a super fun episode. It's different from our format, but very similar. But really, it's just three women who love horror and horror comedies chatting and have a really good time with it. So can't wait for everyone to hear it. I mean, we, we've got some good clips here. I was like laughing to like editing the episode, just like some of the conversation we had. And I'm like cackling as I'm laughing because I'm just as I'm editing because I'm just like, I remember this conversation. It was hilarious. So we hope everyone really likes it. Anyway, I can hear the xenomorph outside, so I'm just kind of waiting a bit. Oh, God. I keep looking at the time. And I'm like, oh, God, it must have been like two hours now. It has not. It has only been one hour. Save function anywhere. Hygiene area. Yeah, I know I'm going far where I shouldn't go. It is a really great horror pod. Ah, it is a really great feminist horror podcast. I finally fin was able to finish uh, season nine of their episode, and it's really great. They did this really wonderful episode on Jennifer's body, which I think everyone should go check out and listen to, because Jennifer's body is definitely a severely, severely underrated film, and that does not get as much love as it should have first gotten it when it came out. But we're hoping that that all changes. So we're going to have to watch this again. So I'll watch this again. This is Lingard, senior medical officer at Sevastopol Station. I want to... I want to... Oh, goodness. I have been placed under duress with regards to the compromise. Has anyone been to the cinemas yet now that they're open again? Head of operations. He I have yet to go to my favorite he cinema here threats. in Ottawa, the Mayfair. And my certification. I want that on record. That's only because I will not go into an actual, like, Silver City movie theater yet just because I, I, I always have really horrible experiences at like cineplexes with like just people being really rude and stuff like that so, I, so I just don't go but I had no way of knowing what would happen I'm also curious about seeing old um, I know it definitely has a, it's got like mixed reviews from people but what do you expect from a Midnight Shyamalan film right I mean, of course there's going to be some sort of twist. But I think... Oh god, I forgot that this room has that. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck the shit, Jessica. Fuck the stuff. Don't, don't worry about the stuff. Just worry about getting out of this room. Ooh, a fancy VIP theater. See, that is the only way that I will go to Cineplex now. It's, I've done twice. I went to Lansdowne. I did, like, their, the VIP. And it was, like, nice. Because, you know, like, for what you're paying, you want to make sure that no one is taking their shoes off during the movie. 
and, or like talking throughout the entirety of the movie. Like that's how I went and I saw A Quiet Place was in a VIP Cineplex. So, so yeah, I am definitely curious to see old because I think it, I think it's an interesting concept. Okay. Nope, we're gonna hide in here. Hopefully you didn't see me. Hopefully I ran quick enough. Um, because just the other day I was actually having some thoughts about writing about um, how aging is handled in horror, particularly for women. Particularly since I myself just turned 36 a couple weeks ago and... Uh, ah! I thought I held it! Oh no, I, I held LMBD. I held the left mouse button, not the right mouse button. Uh, so guys, it might take me a little bit to get to get what I need to do going here, but bear with me. Stupid xenomorph. Collect the tag. Rewire shit. Jessica, don't get too cocky here. There's still a xenomorph around. Go in the vent. Crawl in the vent. Did you just like literally down one beer in one hour? <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Oh goodness. Maybe I'm safe to go out this way now. So I'm gonna grab the map. I know we gotta do this again. So I have a little breather. If everyone needs to run to the washroom or grab an extra drink, you know, we're here just doing this thing. That damn it. Well, eventually I'll do this thing when I can figure it out. Ugh. For the love of God, woman, you are wasting time. <laughs> there you go. Select. Oh my God! Yes, please, Katie. Please, uh. Pimp away as many as any podcasts you like. Kelly and I are always on the lookout for fun new podcasts to listen to. This is Lingard. To engage with. Senior medical officer to Vestival Station. I want to. I want to stay. I have been, I have been placed under duress with regards to my patient zero and ransom. Season's head of operations. He he made so. First of all, the head of operations is named Ransom. I want that on record. God, that woman needed help. Ruined. What is uh, the Ruined podcast? But it had planted something inside her. And that's exciting. A one-year anniversary. I remember when Kelly and I had our one-year anniversary too. What would happen? That's kind of a really cool concept. Two lady comedians, one loves horror and the one hates it but needs to know the twist of them. So they just ruin a horror movie. So she ruins the horror movie for a friend. Or her friend who hates horror movies ruin just likes to ruin horror movies for people. But no, because if she didn't like horror movies, she wouldn't watch them. 
so it's her friends ruining the horror movie for her because she wasn't because I in a way I can relate to that because I remember when I wouldn't watch horror movies and I would try and like dig to get answers to figure out like what 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 would happen even though I was like curious so maybe the person who doesn't like horror movies really secretly likes horror movies and they just don't know it yet <laughs> it's a slippery slope from there <laughs> Uh, anyway, but sure, definitely ruined. I need to remember that. Uh, okay. I wish there was a save function here. The alien is out there. <sighs> so here's the thing, the moment I leave this room <gasps> oh my god, 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 oh my god. It literally saw me go under the table. Here's what I love. It saw me go under the table and didn't do anything. This time. But it knows that I am... Okay. 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 I can't uncrouch from under the table. So here's the thing that sucks. Get in the fucking locker! <laughs> I need to get to the operating theater. How do I get there? Okay, well I need to get out and go out this way. So, yeah? Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, we know the explosion is going to happen. Or did it? Oh goodness. That's good. Um, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to go this way. Cool. Excellent. Great. This is wonderful. Sure. Um, ideally, I like to find a save point. Oh god. Okay, I thought it was in the room for a second. I was like, mm, nope, nope. No, I don't want to go that way. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. Damn it! I don't have time to waste <laughs> on figuring where I need to go. Ugh. Ugh. This is stressful. This is stressful. Okay, no. Um... Do I need to walk back out? Like, do I need to crawl back out? <sighs> uh. 
go? How do I get out? I need to go out and go right and then keep walking straight and go down. Yeah. So that's left. I want to go right. And I want to keep going straight. I swear to God, if I run into the sand. Ah! Jesus! Fucking lights! <laughs> Excuse my language right now. <clears throat> Locker, place I can hide. Thank you for joining. Hope you have a good night and don't have any scary dreams. No xenomorphs. Oh god. Jesus, okay. San Cristobal Medical Facility recommends seeking medical assurance. We leave when you're far from home. Find key card to access, okay. This is a lot of random key cards just being dropped around places. Sun Crystal has been locked down by the Clear Marsh for the medical team setting up field hospitals. Okay. Her old friend. Dr. Lingard, this is Ransom. Remember me? Your friendly Seeks and Chief Executive. Lingard, you don't drop by, you don't call. Aren't we pals anymore? Oh well, we're both busy people. <sighs> and after all, I have lots of other friends. Some of them have badges. One of them told me you called Marshall Waits about, uh, shall we say... Oh my goodness, yes, I love the horror queers. They are, as also a, a podcast that I've been working on catching up on over the last couple of months because they've got so much great content and I just want to listen to every single episode of Joe and Trace talking horror, so it's awesome. Probably should have been paying attention to what that guy was saying, but... Oh, there's a save point! Oh, thank god. I've been looking for one of these. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Probably a passcode in here. Let's probably check this out again. I'm actually really excited to listen to that episode to see what they say because Daniel Is It Real has been on my list for a while to check out. So, 2505. Okay. key card so yes I'm on my way oh you say that and now all of a sudden something's gonna happen with the xenomorph he cursed us both <laughs> so I have to use the key card for something
Where was there somewhere that I was like I needed a key card for? I can't remember. Oh, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. That's awesome. Okay, well, definitely make sure I'm adding it to my list of... <gasps> ah! Fuck! Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in! Okay, so now I know why those things explode. I went near it and it exploded. That's my theory. Because the other one didn't explode because I just quickly ran away from it. But this one exploded. What say? And Xenomorphs out there. I think there is like an image that Joe and Trace shared on one of their social media um, social media accounts. It was an image from Daniel Isn't Real, and it looked like the kid's face with like the imaginary friend's face, like kind of like absorbing it. And I was like, "Ooh, that's kind of body horror, kind of like I I like that." Well, that's sometimes what I do. Like honestly, sometimes with some of their. Um, episodes I actually listen to their episode first before I go ahead and watch the movie because I'm like oh I've always actually wanted to see that movie for a while but we all know with you know how much time that we all have these days and how many movies we all want to watch and so I'll like go check out someone's podcast episode about the said movie and it'd be like oh they've got some really interesting things they've said about this movie and so I'm gonna go check it out now Here I am, casually chatting horror, and the xenomorph is right in the fucking next room. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe hide. Maybe hide. It's a good time hiding now. It's in the room. Oh boy. Uh, tonight is my... Oh shit, it's right there. It's right fucking there. Okay, this time I know what button to press if to if it gets any closer. Ah! Damn it! Damn it! Okay, so that's not fair. So for once, I press R M B D to hold breath, and then it says you press R M B D, and then it's like press S for su to lean back, and I was like, why can't R M B D be both? Why can't R M B D be both? So now you have to do, you have to press R and B D and then press S. R and B D to hold your breath, S to lean back. That's bullshit. I'm calling bullshit on that. By quoting one of my favorite vampires, Deacon, from What We Do in the Shadows. I don't even remember what I need the key card for. Oh my god, I was just thinking. So I was listening to the episode. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Um, I was listening to the Murmurs from the Morgue episode. Um, I got halfway through it. They're doing uh, horror music, so um, best musical numbers in horror movies. And the song that got stuck in my head was the one from Insidious. <coughs> But it's also been in another movie. It's like that song, like, Tiptoes through the windows, do 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 do. It's a really creepy song, like, old school creepy song. And I just had that song in my head as I'm, like, walking through the space station. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is definitely a very creepy song. Oh, God, the alien's right there. Okay. So I'm at a lower level. So maybe this time, maybe I'll be fine. Oh, God, there's his legs. 
I did them both at once. Oh god. Oh wow. I could lose my whole- I could die holding my breath. Okay. Jeez, that's a new thing to know. Fucking alien. Yes, we all know how much you love old-timey songs. <laughs> it's a great episode. I was, I, they picked us some really good... Where'd it go? Here it comes again. Damn it. I was just about to go out. Yeah, so I think, like I said last time, the last time I played this game, that out of all the scary games that I've played on this channel that I've streamed, Alien Isolation has been the scariest. Oh great, another area of just dead bodies. Awesome. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Uh, run, 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 run! Uh, I'm running, I'm running. I'm in the dark. This is not good. This is not good. I don't know where I'm running to. Oh my god. Fuck. All it was was like dark. Shadow, the Xenomorph saw me, and I ran. Oh, I well, guess what? I'm in the operating theater, so that's pretty freaking awesome. I, I got to where I need to get to. Sometimes running blindly helps in certain situations. And I got the trauma kit. Got the meds. We're at the transit station outside medical reception. Ripley, we heard gunshots. If we heard them, so did the creature. Oh shit, 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 shit! No! No! Oh no! I'm gonna have to do that all over again! And getting to that room was like pure fucking luck. Pure fucking luck. Damn it! Damn it. Ugh. Oh. How did I get there again? I don't remember. I just remember a lot of running and screaming. Nope. I did this again. Holy shit! Motherfucker! Damn Xenomorph! <laughs> I thought the alien wouldn't have been distracted eating the other guy. I didn't know it would come for me. <laughs> oh, goodness. Also, that is hilarious. Just do what Kelly says, title of your sex tape. <laughs> oh, my poor cats. I probably screamed so much tonight, they probably have no idea what's going on. Okay. I just go in here for now. Also, that's not cool that when you open that door, the aliens right there, the xenomorph. Uh. Oh 
Oh, don't, don't move out of there. Shit. it screaming and running after me and not cool <sighs> don't know where I am I'm not where I need to be damn it <sighs> you thank Satan for your strong beer are you feeling a little tipsy over there Kelly For people who are watching, I am not doing this just for Kelly to get drunk. I am literally scared and things are terrifying. Dude, sure not a good time. Not a good time for this. Not a good time for this. I'm going this way. You're an idiot! Oh my god. Did you just kill me? I just got killed by a fucking human. And the reason why I got killed by a human was because I'm like just looking at him like incredulously being like, are you kidding me, man? This is... I'm gonna go to my left. It's got to hell in here, Samuels. Samuels, it is not fun in here. Oh my god. I'm just gonna hide under the gurney because the alien is right there. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. It, look how long its tail is. Yes, please go after the stupid humans, alien uh, xenomorph.
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah! <laughs> oh god, I killed me, I didn't even see it kill me. Yeah, I think I have noisemakers. Um, wait, no. Um, no, I don't. Oh, I can craft one. I am crafting a noisemaker. Trying to think which way I'm supposed to go again. I'll breathe. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! <sighs> Holy fuck, it ran in here. Ugh. <sighs> Well, I was just about to get that map, and I do not like it crawling around in the dark. <sighs> oh god. Go through the door. Yes, yes. Keep going. Oh, yeah, so horror comedy month. <sighs> okay. I think I'm going to do it. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to leave the walker. I will definitely have to say that this is not a game that people just play for fun. <laughs> like, it's fun if you want to have a heart attack every time you're playing this game. Samuels, I've got the meds. Okay. We're at the transit station outside medical reception. Transit station. Ugh, I just have to get all the way out of here again. Ugh, this is so stressful. This is so stressful. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I've made it from here, and now I have to get to here. And there's still a xenomorph out there. Okay, cool. Oh, God. Oh, enjoy Scream 4. As, uh, I also enjoy that film as well uh, out of the franchise. So thank you for the fun and thank you for joining us, Reliant Katie. And also Ruined. I'm going to check out that podcast. Thank you. Always love the suggestions. Uh, okay. Ripley, we heard gunshots. And if we heard them... Oh, this is the the is right there. to a different room. Your 
I don't know if there was something behind me. I just wasn't going to take a chance. I know that noise. I know the sound just fucks with me, but I still don't want to take that chance. really want to get to the save point. Okay. Save often, save frequently. Okay, so I guess I'll just go out and go to my right now to get to the reception area. I saw it, I swear I heard it behind me. Ask yourself that question too, buddy. There's a lot of dead bodies around here. Medical reception's a no-go. I can't what? get out. That's the only way through. Ripley, this is a public hospital. There has to be an evacuation procedure. Initiate sending crystal. Oh my god. This is why we don't go into space. This is why. There's just too many procedures. There's just too many things you have to do to get out or to save yourself. Stay on Earth. Little procedures you have to deal with. I know, I've had to stop drinking water for the rest of the night. The Yeah, I stopped, I'm trying not to drink any more water for the rest of this game through because um, I may pee myself. Go out there, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye. Go see the alien. The xenomorph. God. Where do I have to go? Oh, I have to go back all the way up? Ugh. <laughs> You're killing me. This game is literally killing me. <laughs> I know, right? I've used this. Um, twice today, and actually, no, this is my third time, and it holds 20 ounces of water, so I have drank a lot of water today. So, thank you, Kelly. <laughs> Alright, bah! You're killing me, I have to go at it again. Space, they say. 
It'll be an adventure. Assholes. I am feeling you, bro, but can you move? Because... What am I doing here? Oh, I'm in the air. Uh, that was ominous. Human touch. This is to be formal complaint to station medical. I do not want to be attended by an android. Okay. Duty roster. The incident. Well, we have Hind guard. After the incident, the marshals want us to rope off medical. Oh. We're bringing in a team to find whatever it was the patient was carrying. I told them it was fast, but they're convinced they can trap it. They've got nets. They've got I'm nets. They're gonna try and catch the xenomorph with nets. We're in charge for now. <laughs> it's Don't so cute, but no. The last thing we need is him self-medicating with Marshal weights around. Okay. Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh shit! Did it see me? Did it see me? San Cristobal Medical Facility recommends. Fuck! I think it saw me. Or did No, I didn't see me. I just. It was close to seeing me. Any compound B. Oh my god, there's a thing right above me. That was silly. Again, watch the skies. Okay, good. Oh, let's just go and save right away. I know you're saying throw a noisemaker, but I'm also not really good at throwing noisemakers. I'm really not good at using any tools in games that I have. Making a lot of noises. Too many noises. Too many noises that alerts a xenomorph. Oh, it's a generator. That's what it is. Androids. It's the last thing I need to deal with.
Right? I know. Fucking droids. I don't know how to get out of here again. Oh god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, it did the thing! It did the thing where it attacked me from above. I wasn't paying attention to above me. too cocky. I need to pay attention to what's above me. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> pay attention, Jessica. <laughs> I'm like, I'm all focused now on the, on the android that I'm just like, oh shit, there's still a xenomorph out here. There's still a, there's still a xenomorph in the, in the vents. Those, like, ceiling vents just come out of nowhere. Like, literally nowhere. get out of here again. I need to get all the way somewhere. I have to go through the ER and come back over here. Okay. Alright, I can do this. No, it's the wrong way. So it's waiting for me out there. It is waiting for me in the in that vent. <laughs> yes. In this game, they come out of nowhere. Like literally like yeah. Just just then. <laughs> That's my theory the theory and I'm sticking to it.
So here's the thing. So I truly understand now when people are in a horror movie and they just seem to like be running in like all kinds of different directions because you're so afraid that you can't think right. Like you literally just cannot think right. So I get it now. I get in horror movies when I'm watching people just be like, why are you running blindly through the woods? That's just silly. I'm like, you are so scared that you just want to get away from whatever's coming after you. It doesn't matter, but you end up getting lost because you're just so terrified. I get it now. After playing this game, I feel those people in those movies. Which way am I going? I need to go that way? Right. Right? Right. It's right there. It's right there. I can see it. The drool coming down from there. Yeah, I know. I'm on to you. Going in. Oh, wait. No, you're in the vents, too. Alright. Both the Xenomorph and I are in the vents. I don't feel great about this. It was waiting for me. shit no 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 fuck oh i just walked right into it okay well i think that's where i'm gonna call it quits for tonight my my i can't take any more kills like this oh god uh yeah um yeah we're just we're just gonna exit because um i'm losing my voice from all the screaming and my heart can't take another one of those kills. So, uh, I want to thank everyone who did appear tonight for another edition of the Spectral Streamer, where every Wednesday night from 9 to 11, I stream different um, video horror games. And just want to let you guys know for next month, for the month of August, still going to be doing from 9 to 11 on Wednesdays, but the game that's going to be up for play is going to be Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. So hope you guys uh, come check that one out. I know Resident Evil is a very popular game. I know that people are playing Resident Evil uh, The Village right now, but I really have always wanted to check out Biohazard. So going back to zombies and a different type of scariness. So once again, thank you for following us, uh, following the spinsters at spinstersofhorror.com on our website and at, at horror spinsters on twitter and then we're at spinsters of horror on, on instagram you can also follow morbidly beautiful this is where i am they are the sponsor of this stream they're at x morbid beauty x on twitter and at morbidly beautiful on instagram as well as you can follow them on as morbidly beautiful at facebook as well follow me on twitter at spectral 7 as well as on instagram and thank you again all for joining me tonight and i hope you have a good night and hope you guys have a good sleep because I know I won't. <laughs> Bye.